So now is the moment we've all been waiting for. I cannot wait to, uh, to officially announce the theme for this year's 26th National March for Life. Over the years, you've noticed, you may have noticed that we've been turning to sacred scripture for themes. Last year's theme, I am, uh, the great I am. Uh, the year before that, you are not alone. Uh, so this year, once again, we turn to sacred scripture for inspiration, and uh, we hope it resonates with you, and we hope you enjoy it. So um, now we will play the official promotional video for this year's National March for Life. The historic overturning of Roe v. Wade announced to the world, life will win if we stand firm. But the attack on life is far from over. In Canada, 300 babies in the womb are killed each day, increasingly by chemical means, while our Prime Minister muses about making abortion a right. Euthanasia is exploding, and soon people with mental illness could be eligible to request it to end their lives. And now, infanticide is being considered for children with severe disabilities. If there was ever a time to stand firm for life, that time is now. On May 11th, Canadians from all walks of life will come to Parliament Hill to stand firm. For babies in the womb. For mothers in crisis pregnancies. For those living with a disability. For the elderly in hospitals and care homes. Life will win if we stand firm. Stand firm. That is the theme of the 26th National March for Life. Uh, so, Josie, uh, what can you tell us about the theme, why we came up with it, and why it's so relevant, uh, especially today uh, in Canada? Well, Matt, stand firm is from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14. Stand firm, therefore, having belted your waist with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. We thought it was a very appropriate theme for the time and place that we're in. With Roe v. Wade having just been overturned, we're expecting a backlash, and we've already seen some of that backlash. So Stand Firm is a rallying cry to dig in our heels and brace for impact as we see the push for, quote unquote, self-managed abortions through chemical means, as we see the attacks on crisis pregnancy centers, as both Joe Biden and Justin Trudeau call for abortion to be considered a right and as we mentioned before, um, euthanasia just exploding across the country. Um, we are prepared for this onslaught and we're linking arms um, just to, to be ready for it. Stand Firm is also a call to be strong for those who are weak, to not stand on the sidelines, but rather to defend the vulnerable. Of course, that includes the preborn, but also mothers experiencing crisis pregnancies, people living with disabilities, and the elderly. Stand Firm is also a recognition that with the success of the overturning of Roe v. Wade, there will be a temptation to concede or make compromises in order to get another bit of this taste of success. And so Stand Firm is a promise not to cede one inch of ground. We will remain principled in standing for life from conception to natural death without exception. And finally, Stand Firm is also a reminder to put on the armor of God, to spiritually fortify ourselves with truth, justice, and faith, to meet the violence of abortion with a gospel of peace, and to recognize we're not just fighting for lives here, but we're also fighting for souls.